Hi, welcome again. And <clears throat> this morning we want to share with you some really unique, important information. And we're going to be able to test it as well. Again, seeing is believing for a lot of people. And we're going to talk about the wonders of the healing Salvegio frequencies. If you've heard about this before, maybe we'll give you a little bit more insight. Um, <clears throat> but there truly are frequencies, vibrations that uh, can heal. Okay, there's frequencies that can affect us in a negative way. But before we get into the subject, I just want to recognize a few people. And uh, we love all of you to comment, to share this information. Uh, you know, if you want to show love to others and help them, so that's very important. So, yeah, please do so. But anyways, uh, we want to recognize a few people here today. Bindu Grewal, Jenny Wong, Devinder Grewal, Shelly Antonation, Jackie Palmer, Amir Ajeti, Jason Flamont. Thank you for sharing this with other people. And anyone new, you're welcome to also do so. And we do invite your comments and questions as well. And as we are live today. So why I want to uh, comment and, or speak on this and show this, because there's a lot of talk about people talking again about energy. Oh, I feel the energy. because. When people sometimes say this, they mean that too, because things resonate. And when you have frequencies that are in agreement with you, um, they resonate, they feel good, okay? So everything being energy, okay? Um, <clears throat> everything being even like, uh, we've heard of, I'm sure of, a lot of you are starting to hear about Tesla, and in the past he was sort of an unknown because he was one of the greatest inventors that has been around in the uh, early 20th century. And um, <clears throat> so late 1800s, early 1900s, Tesla has brought to us, really is responsible for um, television, electricity as we know, AC power, fluorescent tubes, you just name it, so much of the technology. And a lot of the technology as he passed away, died in poverty because he was an inventor, is being used actually by uh, you know, many institutions, the military and so on. Um, but now everybody's hearing about Tesla cars and so on. So Tesla was very much into energy and frequencies and he would have redefined the way that we look at matter even. Okay? So we're looking at matter as things are being solid, but they actually aren't, and now more and more science is starting to recognize it. And even science has, uh, sorry, uh, Einstein has also came, came up with that concept. So the way we look at things is very important. If we have a perceived way of looking at it, something being solid. But actually, in fact, it, there's a lot of space between the atoms. And someone even took it, I don't know how true this is, but we're, we're learning a lot from, from the quantum physics side of things. Um, said if you compressed everything that's solid, like all the human beings, seven point whatever, three, four billion people, and if you were compressed everything that's solid about the people, you could put that all into a sugar cube. So that's just a whole new way of looking at things. So anyways, getting on to the subject of um, frequencies. So frequencies could be expressed in hertz, or it can also be expressed in nanometers when we get to light. Everything in the universe being what? Sound and light, okay? So again, different color of light, blue, red, different end of the spectrum. Uh, it's expressed in nanometers, um, <clears throat> whereas vibrations, such as sound, is expressed in hertz. So you get hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, gigahertz, um, and as we're getting into the cell phone technology and so on. So does, um, do all these frequencies affect us? And because we don't see it, you know, if you see a car coming to you, yeah, you, you're in fear because you know you perhaps could get hit, so you do something to avoid it. But what about if we're doing, dealing with all this invisible energy, these frequencies that are coming at us? So in fact, there's over 200 million new frequencies in the last 100 years that's been introduced through technology. Um, and we're bathing literally in an ocean of all these frequencies, okay, so continuously um, we're being affected. So there's the good, there's the bad, there's the ugly, and um, if we're living more and more unnatural ways, okay, 
And um, so we have so much more technology. For example, as they go into uh, <coughs> you know, the new frequencies where everything, all your traffic lights, anything is going to be controlled. It's not going to be wired. It's all going to be done remote. We're doing things now in our homes. We've got all these remotes through Wi-Fi and so on. And so as this is happening, all these frequencies will continue to be bombarded. It's bouncing off us, and many can have a negative Im impact. Now, technology is great. We all need it. We all have cell phones, and you see maybe some of this previous information. But it's very much important to also associate ourselves knowing that um, if we have a lot of negative frequencies coming at us, and this is causing a whole new wave of uh, disease, and again the word disease is out of balance, so you know, these frequencies create out of balance conditions and it can affect us physically, mentally, emotionally, and so on. Um, many people are definitely at different rates, different ways, so it all depends on the person's makeup. Um, <clears throat> so now we need to almost like develop these shields around us, okay, and then also, you know, you take the daily bath, um, you know, but hey, how about bathing yourself in some really good life-supporting frequencies? So that's just all creating, like, harmony, okay? We need to live in harmony. We know if we listen to music, that is, uh, the instruments are not f properly tuned. Um, you hate it, okay? So that's in the, in the audible range or whatever. Even if we see color combinations on things, sometimes it's kind of like, ah! It's ugly, right? So, but again, beyond the spectrum that we have that we can sense with our regular senses, okay? Or, you know, whether it's taste, smelling, hearing, so the normal six senses that we have, and so much we evaluate on that basis. Um, these other things are happening, again, outside of that sen the senses are active. Of course, here it's again, um, very important to get our chakras balanced. Okay. something we can test for, evaluate you for as well. And these are energy like transformer points. There's the seven basic chakra points. They're energy points in our body. They too need to be activated and fully kept in balance. And a lot of times people, these chakras have been shut down and a lot of people are saying, what? You know, they're not even aware of it. So get yourself acquainted, and we've done other videos where we demonstrate that, and we'll continue to do some of these things. But our focus today would be to work with certain frequencies, and again, demonstrate that um, we can be impacted, and we are being impacted in a very negative way. But let's then find out how we can impact uh, ourselves through technology, perhaps, simple things. We have our energy cards, our OGs. But today we're going to show you through amplification with a signal generator how uh, these frequencies are affected. And we're going to focus specifically to the Salvaggio frequencies. These were um, tones, frequencies that were utilized and studied and, and so on by Gregorian monks back in about the 1900s, or no, 900s AD. And the human voice being one of the purest instruments, and so they would train through chanting and through singing with these specific frequencies. And this would create ultimate harmony, okay? And uh, the vibrations are very powerful that they're related to helping us heal. So how about if you could utilize these frequencies, bring it in your home, and we're going to make them available to you. And we'll discuss that later for free, by the way, so that you could play these frequencies in your home and restore and create more balance, okay? Restore your health. So this will work at all different levels. It's not just about the physical, but, you know, we have, we're, you know, mental, emotional, spiritual beings, and, and this can help at all the different layers. So, <clears throat> going back now to uh, how we're going to test it, we're using our wands, you've seen this perhaps, if not, um, these simply are going to, uh, the technology is based on dowsing, the past, they've been modified, we're going to use Jackie as the object that, um, who's going to be tested for the frequencies, okay? So, Jackie's going to receive 
couple of um, Q-tips and she's going to put this in her mouth to add some of her saliva to it. And we know that uh, all these things then contain her DNA. And her DNA is her specific frequency. So even though, which is really kind of unique, 99.8% of all the DNA um, as human beings we share, we are the same, okay? So it doesn't matter where you're from, black, white, yellow, red, doesn't matter, you know, we are so uniquely the same, but yet we're so uniquely different too. And <clears throat> this, these two tubes which we put the Q-tips in there that contain her saliva, once again I put them into my wand, you can see them, the red dots, that's the caps on them. And if I point it at her, they, they're pointing at her. If I point it at the cameraman, it's not his DNA, you can see them swing back, again, verifying this is not his frequency. As soon as they put it back towards Jackie, it takes about 30 seconds, you can see how now it's in tune. So if Jackie was to step a little bit sideways, you could see how they follow her, and there you are. So it's kind of like GPS. <laughs> I can use this to find anywhere up to at least 600 feet away, okay? So, now Jackie's going to stand back there, and in this room, the whole dynamics of everything that is in existence, so um, <clears throat> her energy field is going to be affected by this room, so anything you put in on near your body, her clothing, her shoes, her whatever, her hair, everything about her. And as you can see here this morning, where she's standing, as I walk backwards and these wands are still pointing to her, at this point they open up. This is the size of her field, okay? Or uh, whatever, her bioenergetic field, her life force. This is what it's showing this morning. And that can change from day to day again, um, a lot of different things. So I'm going to go over here. I have an amplifier and I have a signal generator. Turn that on and I'll, I'll turn it down so that the sound isn't going to bug us too much. And what we've just shown, so one of the frequencies, um, we're all bombarded with music wherever we go. And many of the musical instruments, when it comes to the A note, it's, um, they're tuned to 440. And that was established in about 1950, 52 by convention. And however, I'm going to just show you quickly how that note, the A note, used to be 432 hertz. But by shifting it to 440, how it harmonizes with us, okay? So, and then we're going to go to the different solveggio scales, okay? Or, uh, so, I'm going to set this up. Oops. Sorry about that. Okay, you can maybe hear it just then. All right, we're going to bring it down to 440. There we are, it's showing 440. And as we had it before, Jackie's life force was here. So just put your hand by that speaker over top like that, and you can see. So she's absorbing those frequencies there, 440, which is the A note, typically most instruments are now. And as I walk to her, you could see that her life force has actually decreased to this level here. Okay, so nothing visible is being attached to her. She's just connecting with the vibration at 440 hertz generated from the signal generator and amplified through the speaker. Okay, she's absorbing those vibrations and that's affecting her. It's bringing her life force down. So, so many examples of this, uh, cell phones, you know, all this sort of stuff can have that kind of an effect. But let's tune that back to the original 432 hertz. So there we are at 432 hertz. So 440 brought it down to about here, okay? Now we have more where it's meant to be. And as I'm walking past, this is where it was before. 
But I can now even go way out further, okay? So when we're listening to music where the A note on a guitar, the A string is tuned to 432, uh, is also harmonizing. And the more harmony we create, the healthier we are. And it's going to elevate it at all the different levels. So <clears throat> people might be affected more on the emotional, maybe the mental, whatever. And I've been playing around this even with my, within my own home, and I have seen the effects of that. So there's many different frequencies um, that you can um, look at. Um, and so, because the solvejo uh, frequencies have been recognized as um, helping towards clearing and he healing and, and elevating us to different things, um, <clears throat> So there are six different notes in the original Sauvegio. Some have added a few, and then we can get up to nine. And so uh, we're going to set it to 396 hertz, which is also recognized for liberating guilt and fear. And these days, there's a lot of people maybe that are stuck in that thing. And you like to cleanse yourself, get rid of that, but somehow you're stuck. So how about using these vibrations that will get us more harmonized. So I'm gonna set uh, this up at 396, again, liberating guilt and fear. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to retune that. There we are. Close enough, 396.1. So this is the first one. It's, it's called Ut 396 Hertz, Liberating Guilt and Fear. And you can see that, again, it's, if we had more room, we go, go out a whole lot further. So if people hold on to a lot of this type of energy, just simply playing this particular frequency could help change them. And if they get enough of the exposure to this frequency, okay, then you know, so perhaps less dependency on physical substances, drugs, or even other things, okay? So everything is there, like I believe everything in nature. If it's good to us, it has the frequencies. As you may be seen, maybe you've heard about, for example, all the essential oils, they have different frequencies. Rose is one of the highest, you got frankincense and so on, some of the highest frequencies, and if you were to hold those things too, that will do that. Okay, so here we have it, the first, so uh, 396 hertz, liberating guilt and fear. Very, very helpful. And then you can play these things in sequences or all at the same time, there's different programs, and there's different ways and means of getting it out there and empowering not just yourself, maybe the whole home, your community, and so on. And this is what we're all about, wanting to share it with you, because if you could play a bigger part in your home, it begins always in your own home, but what about getting out in the community and helping that? And there's so much chaos going on, and it's, again, it's, it's all energy, okay? Whether it's mental energy that's being projected on us, um, you know, um, <clears throat> so music, the words, what we read, how we speak, all these things are very important. Okay, the next one. So the first one was good. The next one is called Re, R-E, 417 hertz. It has to do with the undoing of situations and facilitating change. So, so many people want to maybe help themselves change. This is one of the frequencies that we could set up for that. And if we get Maybe more in a later episode, we maybe we'll, but we have lots more distance. We're maybe taking different individuals, and that would be very interesting. We're all in different spaces, so maybe need to clear up different things. And we could test for a specific frequency with individuals and see how far that goes, and then maybe even be able to identify <laughs> where these people are stuck. Right? And that's just something I thought about now. Okay, so we're going to set it up to 417 hertz. So facilitating change. We want to change our lives, right? It's, uh, 
you know, people say, well, change your water, change your life, change your, <laughs> change your thinking, change your life. What about change your frequencies, okay? Um, and this is one thing things we're gonna do. So 417 hertz. And once again, it builds Jackie up. I can go through this wall and I can feel the energy. Uh, this would really benefit you. <laughs> yeah, I can just tell that this is great for you, but I think it's great for everybody because the world is going through such massive changes today. And uh, hey, maybe by putting out more of this particular frequency, this is gonna help, okay? So here we had 417 hertz, undoing situations, facilitating change, okay? If you like that, um, again, we're going to make these frequencies available to you, you can go to our website, um, download them free today. Okay, 528 hertz, me. Um, this has been known for transformation, healing, repairing DNA. It's also called the love frequency. So believe in miracles. Maybe we ought to engage more with 528 hertz. So I'm gonna go over here Set this up to 528. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. There we are, 528 hertz, okay? Transformation, DNA repair love frequency so we all need that too that's why playing the solvejo frequencies so important healing at all levels we all need it very powerful i just feel it coming to me like i really feel this very very powerful okay now this is really impacting me standing here i just <laughs> Love it, love it. <laughs> That's why it's called the love frequency. Okay, so there are six of them, there's three more. 639 hertz, connecting relationships. There are so many issues that people have, personal relationship. I think sometimes people need to connect with themselves even more, but you know, connect with their partners, with their children, their family, connecting with the world, you know, connecting with nature. Okay, so there's so many ways that we can build stronger relationships, okay? And we need to. You know, we, we're living in a mode nowadays, it's all about divide and conquer. So much is being done setting you up, whether it's on political grounds, whether it's done on religious grounds, uh, whatever, right? There's so many reasons why they want to cause separation and division and so on. And it keeps us all occupied with those things because I really believe that if people kind of came together and could work it all out, like I said, based on your own DNA, 99.8% were all the same. Ask people um, what they want, the basics. Everybody wants to be loved. Everybody wants, you know, be happy. So when the basic needs are basic and everybody can agree on that, then what has happened? Okay, that's creating people to be so, um, you don't really hate each other and all that. That's not really the natural state of where we're at or we need to be at. But again, it's the vibration set in place. So let's see if we can help <laughs> ourselves out and others and the more we do and we're getting this knowledge or we're getting this somehow through technology, which I'm working with continuously, try to empower the neighborhood, okay? Try to help that in your home. So now we're going to set there for them to 693, uh, 639 hertz. Okay, so we're gonna move up the counter here. Okay, so just going to show you that these, just gonna let you listen to these tones, okay? You can see that they're different. Uh, this is a higher pitch, higher number, higher pitch. Okay, so again, Jackie's standing next to it. Her hands are above, the, and this also is so powerful. Like I feel that, that you know, 
seems like the higher the vibrations we're going into, the more it is. And this is an area that, I, again, all of us can use, okay? To make good connections, to establish good relationships, heart to heart, okay? And there's so much being talked about fake news, fake this, and we can be very um, pretentious, okay? So maybe we need to break through the barriers, right? Make real connections, okay? Real heart-to-heart -heart connections with people. And we speak to the heart, uh, people get maybe more honest and so on, and we can build stronger relationships and overcome many of the barriers that we've put into place. Because again, this is, yeah, people pretend to be something that they really aren't quite often, okay? So stop the bullshit, the sooner <laughs> the better it is. <laughs> Okay, um, the next one is 741 hertz, awakening intuition. And <clears throat> to me, I know that this is developing more and more on my side. Um, I'm getting more insight, I get connected with things, I, um, my feelings for things, I pick up energies a lot quicker than I used to be. And it's just because I'm working with this stuff all the time. And the more intuitive we become, um, you know, the higher functioning we can be too. The more connected we can be. So it's, it's all about, you know, yeah, being more intuitive, right? Um, <clears throat> again, balancing your chakras, okay? Um, third eye particularly. And so remember in the chakras, we have what is called the third eye. And that is made up the same material as your own eye. The only thing it works at a different level and the vibrations that it picks up uh, it acts somewhat differently, but it gives us more insight. So many people are shut down in, in their third eye. So we need to, again, help to awaken that. And there's ways and means of being able to do it. So we're going to set up to um, 741 hertz now, awakening intuition. And I'm going to just turn the volume up so you can hear it. It's a higher pitch as I'm up in the scale. Okay, turn it down. All right, so higher frequency, higher vibration, and it just seems the higher the vibration we're setting up, the more we are being raised to. So going through all these different levels. Um, what happens if we turn it to like 720? Uh, we could do that, yeah, okay. So we. She asked what happens if we turn it to 720. So 740 really creates harmony. But, okay, let's turn it to 720. There we have 721. So, but you can see it's not quite in tune. Actually, if we were to run it at 720, slightly off from 741, not a whole lot, but enough to bring it down. It was the same where we started with the A note in music. 440, which is what they're using by convention now. Didn't used to be, it used to be 432, okay? So maybe if you're playing a musical instrument and you were to get together um, and let's say guitars and you got the, the A string, tune it to 432 rather than 440. And the music starts changing, the vibration starts changing and how it's impacting you and those around them, okay? Okay, so there we have 741, Awakening Intuition, and now uh, we're going to tune to 852, it's also called the La, okay, uh, note, returning to spiritual order, okay? And that's like crown chakra. Um, this probably also, these vibrations will help to waken up uh, and open up those chakra points, okay? Which are again, transformer points. And as they open up, they allow the energy to be drawn into your body through all your different chakra points, okay? So we've got the crown, we've got third eye, we've got the throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus, sacrum, and then the root chakra, which is your grounding. And the more we're balanced along those lines, um, the way that the energies will flow, 
the more will be empowered. Things can start to shift from you. That's beyond the regular six senses. We have these working for you too. Okay, so 852, returning to spiritual order. So we're gonna set it to 852, and you can see again, the pitch is way up. And then we'll detune that, and then we'll just see what kind of a frequency. So because I think very often we have things that are close tuned to it, and it has the appearance of it being pure, let's say, right? But it's off enough to throw you off, okay? And that's, um, again, you know, a lot of people get involved in religious orders, and they tend to be cults. Right? But again, there we have 852. So a lot of people get indoctrinated into things. And so words are powerful, how they're being used. And the energy by which these words are, some people are great orators, they're great speakers, okay? great presenters. And it has such a high influence on how it can shift people around. So that's 852. I'm going to just turn that down to... Call it 842, okay? That's close to 852. So, again, 842, it just throws you off, okay? So, if we don't use the pure values, somehow they've studied, they've established it, and today we've been able to measure these things and be able to show you the effects, okay? A slight detuning of things, vibration change, they can bring us down, okay? So, if you like to test these and you want to have access, please um, visit our uh, website, bioenergywellnesscare.com, and link in the description, click on the coupon code HEAL, all capital form, and um, yeah, please go download now and have these experiences for yourself. Enjoy the day.